Following breaking news out of Sacramento, where multiple fire crews are on the scene of a commercial fire. So this is on Sequoia Pacific Boulevard, just off of Bannon Street. It's south of Richards Boulevard. Let's go over to KCR3's Melanie Wingo for more. And this is a trucking company that went up in flames early this morning. And you can see fire crews are still out here working on it. They're spraying it down. A lot of damage to this structure on the property of the, the trucking company. Captain Justin Silvia with Sacramento Fire is here with us now. And Justin, can you walk us through what happened when fire crews got the call? What did they notice? So right before 4 a.m. this morning, our crews were responding just a single engine to a tent fire that was extending into trees and a power pole. Once they got on scene, they realized that this fire had quickly extended into what we call a butler building, and it's just a metal framed building that's behind us. There's also a lot of Connex boxes or shipping containers that are butted up against this building. So difficulty one on this one was trying to make access into the property. There's a chain link fence that surrounds it, as well as trying to get into that butler building. So our crews had to use circuit saws to cut a roll-up door to make access. There's not really much inside of that building. There's a forklift and some tools, um, but that fire did extend into that building. And we're noticing your crews walking around with the lights on their helmets and then they're spraying it down. Is this kind of the process, them looking for hot spots and then spraying them down, also looking for other potential um, things that would help out with the investigation into this fire? Absolutely. Our crews are walking around. You can see with their flashlights on their helmets just so we can see out here and check for any type of hot spots, checking for any extension into any of those Connex boxes, just making sure that we have this fire completely knocked out before we leave the scene. We are relatively near the Greyhound bus station, the Union Gospel Mission. We noticed just driving up here. There is a large unhoused population lining this entire block. Um, is this probably what caused the fire from the tent that spread to the structure here on this property? We do know that this is an outside in fire, meaning that there was potentially a tent and other materials that were uh, started on fire that did extend into the building. But we have our investigators coming out uh, to determine the cause and origin. But one of our primary concerns is to get these unhoused folks out of the area so our equipment can get in, we can deploy our hose lines and we can actually fight this fire. All right, and lastly, you know, we're noticing this power pole here. It is compromised. Um, it definitely doesn't look like something that is um, going to be structurally sound going forward. What happens next with the power company coming out here and then the rest of the morning for your crews? What will they be doing up? So we just notify SMUD and SMUD responds. They actually just got on scene now. They're gonna assess this power pole for the damage. And if there's any damage to it, they're gonna replace the power pole or do whatever they need to do to fix that. Um, our crew's next steps are just getting those hot spots under control and then also waiting for our investigator to arrive. All right, thank you so much, Justin Silvio with Sacramento Fire. And we also learned that no one was hurt in the cause of this or in the course of this fire being fought. Reporting live in Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. All right, Melanie, thank you. And we will continue to follow this developing a situation throughout the morning. Be sure to stay updated through the KCRA 3 app. You can download it, turn on push alerts, and get information sent to your smartphone.